Hello everyone, this is Teacher Ricky B. Welcome back to our class. Today, we are going to learn subtraction of integers. The objectives of this video lesson is you are going to subtract integers positive, negative, and zero using materials such as number line, algebra tiles, and counter chips. Let us begin. Five minus three is equal to, I am sure you already know the answer, and that is two. Let's have a recall. Five is the first number in the subtraction sentence, and this is called the minuend, in which we subtract another number. Three is what we called subtrahend. It is the second number in the subtraction sentence, which we will be subtracted from the minuend to get 2, and this is what we called the difference, or the term to represent answer in subtraction. Let's have this one. What have you observed on the given number sentence? They are signed numbers such as positive numbers. And as you can remember, if the number is a signed number, it represents integers. Therefore, in this number sentence, we will be subtracting integers. To do this one, let's try to solve this using number line. First, let's look for positive 5 in the number line. There. As you can see, we are subtracting positive 3. We all know that positive numbers in the number line are going to the right side of 0. But since we are subtracting positive integers, take note that Subtraction is the opposite of addition. Therefore, instead of moving 3 units going to the right side of positive 5, we will be moving it in opposite way. So, we will be moving 3 units going to the left side of positive 5. So, we get positive 2. Therefore, positive 5 minus positive 3 is equal to positive 2. Or remember this one, that in subtraction of integers with like sign, if the minuend is bigger than the subtrahend, you were just going to simply subtract their absolute value and copy their common sign. Example, positive 10 minus positive 6. They are both positive numbers, and minuend is 10, which is bigger than the subtrahend 6, so we will be just subtracting their absolute value. 10 minus 6 is equal to, good job, 4, and their common sign is positive, so the answer will be positive 4. Let's have another one. Negative 5 minus negative 3. In this number sentence, we will be subtracting integers that are negative. So they are both negative numbers. So let's try to solve this one using number line. First, look for negative 5 in the number line. There. Now, as you can see there, we will be subtracting negative 3. So, therefore, we will be moving 3 units opposite to negative 3. And that is, what is the opposite of negative 3? That is, positive 3. So, we will be moving 3 units going to the right side of negative 5 since all negative integers in the number line are going to the right. So, 1, 2, 
3. There you go. We get negative 2. Therefore, negative 5 minus negative 3 is equal to negative 2. Again, as you can see here, we are subtracting integers with like sign. And the minuend is bigger than the subtrahend. So therefore, we will be just subtracting their absolute value. Example, negative 15 minus negative 7 is equal to 2. So we will be just subtracting their absolute value since the minuend is bigger than the subtrahend. So 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. And their common sign is negative. So our answer will be negative 8. Let's try this one. Positive 4 minus positive 7. As we can see here, we are subtracting integers with like sign. However, the mean you went is smaller than the subtrahend. What are we going to do? Let's try to solve this one using number line. First, look for positive 4 in the number line there minus positive 7 what are we going to do what is the opposite of addition of subtraction that is addition so we will be getting the opposite of positive 7 first what is the opposite of positive 7 opposite is negative 7 so therefore we will be moving 7 units going to the left side of positive 4 since all negative numbers or integers in the number line are going to the left side. So we will be moving 7 units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There you go. We get negative 3. Therefore, positive 4 minus Positive 7 is equal to negative 3. Let's have another one. Negative 4 minus negative 7 equals. Again, let's do it using number line. First step, look for negative 4 in the number line. There. This time, what is the opposite of negative 7? The opposite is positive 7. So, on what way we're going to move the units? Going to the right side or going to the left side of the number line? Good job. Going to the right side since the opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. So, we will be moving 7 units going to the right side of negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There you go. We get positive 3. Therefore, negative 4 minus negative 7 is equal to positive 3. Let's have another one. Positive 7 minus negative 3 equals. What have you observed on the given number sentence? As we can see, as we can see here, we are subtracting integers with unlike sign, and the minuend is bigger than the subtrahend. Okay, this is the process on how to subtract integers with unlike sign. Let's do it using number line. First step: look for positive seven in the number line. There. Next step. What is the opposite of negative 3? Opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So therefore, we will be moving 3 units going to the right side of positive 7. 1, 2, 3. There you go. We get positive 10. Therefore, positive 7 plus negative 3 is equal to positive 10. Let's have another one. Negative 1 minus positive 5 equals. 
Let's try to solve this again using the number line. Look for negative 1 in the number line. There. Then, what is the opposite of negative 5? Opposite is, uh, positive 5 rather. Opposite is negative 5. So, we will be moving 5 units going to the left side of negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we get negative 6. Therefore, negative 1 minus positive 5 is equal to negative 6. How about this one? Positive 7 minus positive 4. As you can see here, we are subtracting integers that are like sign. But this time, we will be trying to solve this one using another materials, and that is algebra tiles. So, in subtracting integers using algebra tiles, we need to follow these steps. First, we need to keep the minuend. So, positive 7, we will be positive 7. And, change the sign or the operation to pa uh, addition. So, min minus to addition. Then, get the opposite of positive 4. What is the opposite of positive 4? That is negative 4. So, this time, we will be solving this one using the algebra tiles. Let's assume that blue tiles represent positive 1 and then the red tiles represent negative 1. So let's represent first positive 7. So it means we will be using 7 blue tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then let's represent negative 4 using 4 red tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can remember that in adding integers, when we add positive 1 and negative 1, the answer will always be 0. So therefore, 1 blue tiles and 1 red tiles is equal to 0. Then, there's 1. Okay, parang it seems to be we will be canceling those with pairs. So what we have left here is 3 red, blue tiles, which means positive 3. Therefore, positive 7 minus positive 4 is equal to positive 3. So that's how we subtract integers using algebra tiles. Let's have another one. Positive 4 minus positive 7. So this time, we will be adding integers with like sign. However, the mini end is smaller than the subtrahend. So first, keep the mini end. So positive 4. Then what are we going to do with the operation? Change it to addition. Then get the opposite of positive 7. What is the opposite of positive 7? Good job. Opposite is negative 7. So again, let's use blue tiles represent as positive 1 and then the red tiles represent negative 1. So let's represent positive 4 means we will be using 4 blue tiles. And negative 7, we will be using 7 red tiles. Okay, so we will be canceling out those with pair. Okay. So, what we have left here is 3 red tiles, which represent negative 3. So, therefore, positive 4 minus positive 7 is equal to negative 3. Let's have another one. Negative 5 minus negative 3. So, this time, we will be subtracting integers with like sign. They are both negative. So, first, keep the first uh, the mini went negative 5, change operation to addition, then change or uh, get the opposite of negative 3. It will become positive 3. Then let's represent uh, negative 5, which means we will be using red tiles. So we will be having 5 red tiles. Then positive 3 will be using 3 blue tiles. Then we will be going to cancel those tiles with pairs, which means one negative, 
plus 1 positive is equal to 0. Okay, so what we have left here is 2 red tiles which represent negative 2. Therefore, negative 5 minus negative 3 is equal to negative 2. Okay, let's, let's try to solve this one again using uh, tiles. So this time, we will be subtracting uh, integers that are like sign or they are both negative. However, the minuend is smaller than the subtrahend. So first, keep the, first, the minuend, negative 3. Change the operation to addition. Then, get the opposite of negative 5. What is the opposite of negative 5? That will be positive 5. So, let's represent them using tiles, which is negative 3 will be represented by 3 red tiles. Then, positive 5 will be represented by 5 blue tiles. Okay. So, next step is we will be going to cancel those tiles with pairs. Then what we have left here is two blue tiles, which represent as positive 2. So therefore, negative 3 minus negative 5 is equal to positive 2. Let's have another one. Negative 3 minus positive 5. So keep the first number or the minuend. So negative 3, change the operation to addition. Then get the opposite of positive 5. That will be negative 5. Now, let's try to represent it using the algebra tiles. So, negative 3 will be represented by 3 red tiles. Negative 5 will be represented by another red tile. So, since they are both negative. So, since they are both, I, all of them are red tiles, which means we cannot cancel out because they have no blue tiles there. So, all we have to do is to count the number of red tiles. So, total in all, we have negative 8. So, we have 8 red tiles, which means negative 8. So, negative 3 minus positive 5 is equal to negative 8. How about this one? Positive 1 minus negative 3. Keep the first number or the minuend. Change the operation to addition. And then... Get the opposite of negative 3. That will be positive 3. So, let's represent positive 1. That is blue tiles. And positive 3 will be represented by 3 blue tiles. So, since we, uh, there is nothing to be cancelled out because all of the tiles that represented here is all positive. So, all we have to do is just to count the number of blue tiles. So, we have 4 blue tiles which means positive 4. So, therefore, positive 1 minus negative 3 is equal to positive 4. So, those are the things that we can, or materials that we can use in subtracting integers or representing subtraction of integers. This time, we will, I will be discussing with you uh, the rules or the process in subtraction of integers without using those materials. So, to subtract integers, we can follow the KCO. What is KCO? Okay. K C O. K stands for keep the first number. What is the first number in the subtraction? That is the mean you went. C change subtraction sign to addition. So we will be changing the operation from subtraction to addition. The next is O, which means opposite. We will be getting the opposite of the second number. What is the second number? That is the subtrahend. Then last, follow the rules in adding integers. So, if you are new or if you don't have any idea on how to add integers, you can go back on the video lesson that uh, I've made. Uh, you can watch it. I will link the link below. Okay. So, example or example. The temperature in Tagaytay City was 15 degrees Celsius in the morning. It dropped to 8 degrees Celsius in the evening. What is the difference between these temperatures? So if we're going to analyze the problem, uh, the temperature first is 15 degrees Celsius. So the keyword here is drop, which means 
negative. Okay? So, it becomes uh, 8 degrees Celsius. So, we will be just subtracting this one. So, the number sentence will be positive 15 minus positive 8. Okay? So, the first thing to remember or to do in subtraction of integers using or following this KCO is to keep the first number. So, negative 15, if we keep this one, the same, positive 15. Next step is change sub subtraction sign to addition. So, this one will become positive, uh, addition rather. Then, next one is the O. Opposite, write down the opposite of the second number. So, the opposite of positive 8 is equal to negative 8. Then, the next step is to follow the rules in adding integers. How do we add integers? Our addance now is positive 15 and negative 8. All we have to do is to change this operation to, neg uh, to subtraction. So, follow the rules in addition. So, if we subtract okay, integers now, as you can see here, we are subtracting positive numbers and negative. So, all we have to do is to get their absolute value. Okay, so 15 is 15 and 8 is 8. So, we will be just subtracting their absolute value. So, 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. So, therefore, our answer is positive 7 degrees Celsius. Okay. For you to further understand the KCO, let's have another one. Negative 8 minus positive 5. First, keep the first number. So, the same. Negative 8 will become negative 8. Then, change the operation to addition then get the opposite of positive 5 the opposite of positive 5 is negative 5 then follow the rules in adding integers as you can see here negative 8 plus negative 5 in adding integers if both addends are like sign all we have to do is to add their absolute value okay so 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 and then their common sign is negative. So, we have here negative 13. Okay, next, positive 10 minus negative 12. So, keep the first number. So, if you're going to ask me why it happens na naging addition, bumalik tayo sa proseso ng addition. We're just using the KCO uh, ruling. Okay? So, positive 10, keep it will the same as positive 10. Then change subtraction to addition. Then get the opposite of negative 12. That will be positive 12. So as you can remember in adding integers, so the next step is follow the rules in adding integers. So since they are both positive, all we have to do is to add their absolute value. So 10 plus 12 is 22. And then their common sign is positive. So the answer will be positive 22. Okay, so this time, uh, you can solve the following. You can pause the video. Uh, try to solve these five items. Direction, use the KC or rules for each expression. Record the difference. The first one is already done for you. But if you wanted to use number line, algebra tiles, you can do so. So this time, uh, we will be using the KC or ruling. So, first, says to be here, keep the first number. So, all we have to do is to keep the first number. Then, change operation. Next one is C, change operation. So, subtraction will become addition. Then, get the absolute value, uh, the opposite of positive 7. That will be negative 7. Okay. If we will be adding this one, since they are both negative, all you have to do is to add their absolute value. So, 5 plus 7, that will be 3, uh, 12, rather. Then, copy their common sign. That is negative 12. So, therefore, our answer is negative 12. How about number 2? First, keep the first number, 5, which means numbers without sign is positive. So, this will be 5. 
then change operation to addition get the opposite of negative 10 that will be positive 10 so this time we are adding both positive numbers so five just add absolute value 5 plus 10 is equal to 15 and their common sign is positive so our answer is positive 15 uh, try to solve item 3 4 and 5 you can pause the video to give you more time to do it and then you can comment down below your answer and i'm going to check it if you get the correct answer okay so let's have another one try this one direction find the difference so again uh, to give you more time in solving this one you can pause the video and you can comment below your answer so hope you learned something from our from this video lesson so what you have learned today or what i have learned today and subtracting integers with like sign Thank you children for watching this video lesson hope you learned something from this one and you can apply it on your uh, daily activities and mathematics thank you very much